Nashukuru sana kwa maswali zote. Jina langu Samuel Singas. He is grateful for the all questions that have been raised him. Na mimi na nauliza na swali kuhusu eh He has a question on revival. Mimi nikitatujulisha kama wamsho kwa Mungu unafika ndani ya kanisa what will be the sign to show that the revival of god has come upon the church ah kwa sababu tuna nasikia unatafsiria pale kuna wamsho tabaka mbili because according to his understanding he has understood that we have two kinds of revival kuna wamsho ambaye unasema kuna kuna wachungaji ambao wanatembelea ndani ya kanisa unakutana mikutano ambao unafanya wamsho lakini haikufurahishe kwa wakati unakuta nafukuza mapepo na kuombea watu wengine lakini sasa mimi nataka kuswali ulizo langu hili nitajuaje kama wamsho wa Mungu aha the main question is how will he know that actually this is the revival of God tofauti na wamsho wa watumishi wa Mungu wa kualika kama kufanya mkutano na kanisa apart from that the other meetings they are being called revival meetings and the how will he differentiate between these two meetings so say that this is the revival of god and this one is not the revival of god how will he differentiate okay elas ma njue wa mshwa mungu tofauti na mshwa so he requests to know the revival of god and the revival which is man made revival ni ndo mfata sana okay thank you now i already said that The sign of revival is that people will follow the great commission to love God and love people. Ishara ya kuonyesha kwamba uamsho ni wa Mungu, watu watafuata ahadi kuu na sheria zote za Mungu. And follow the great commission to preach the gospel and also revive, you know, that to help people to obey everything his heart. Kufuata sheria ya Mungu asua sana ile ya kuubiri injili na kuelekeza watu wengine kwa Kristo Yesu na kuleta uamsho including raising up disciples to to bless the uh, the place of, you know so that bring more people to Jesus kuhusisha kuwalea watu wengine kanisani na kuwatunza kuwaleta katika viwango ambavyo wanaweza kwenda kuhubiri injili na kuleta watu katika mwili wa Kristo Yesu when i come in about some revival meetings i don't mean they are not doing the work of god Ninapozungumza kuhusu zile mikutano mingine za uamsho sisemi kwamba watu hao hawafanyi kazi ya Mungu. I mean they just do one small part of revival. Ninamaanisha kwamba wanafanya tu sehemu ndogo ya uamsho. For instance people experience the Holy Spirit or delivered kwa mfano watu wanasikia kukombolewa na kufunguliwa na kuhisi roho mtakatifu is still a small part of revival yani hiyo ni sehemu ndogo sana ya uamsho it can prepare for revival yani hiyo inamaanisha kwamba ndio watu wameanza kuandaliwa kwa ajili ya uamsho but if people just keep doing this you know in every meeting people experience deliverance and na sasa tukisema kwamba kwenye kila mkutano watu waendelee tu kuhusu uwepo wa Mungu na kuzana na mapepo some people think when there are always some people you cast out demon from people then revival is happening watu wengi watafikiria kwamba unapofukuza tu watu mapepo ina maana kwamba uamsho umefika i would say it's just preparing for the revival it's just for this one person demons are driven out yani hii inamaanisha kwamba hapo watu wanaandaliwa tu kwa ajili ya uamsho maana yake mtu anapofukuza mapepo na kumuondoka ameanza kuandaliwa tu There has to be teaching and training that people follow the commandment and come Huyo mtu sasa akisha kukuza mapepo inafaa apitie mafundisho aelewe vizuri ni nini mahusia ya Mungu Now at the same time I want to say about some false revival Na katika njia hiyo pia nataka kuzungumza kuhusu uamsho ambao ni wa uongo False revival will be something like this false prophet prophesy to people and say oh good things will happen to you wonderful things happen to you but it's not real this is false revival uamsho wa uongo ni ule kwa mfano unapata nabii wa uongo au katikati ya watu na anaahidi watu mambo mazuri mazuri peke yao yatawatendekea lakini mambo hayo hayaji kutendeka or they are teaching unbiblical things that is not revival ama wanafundisha mafundisho ambayo yako kando na maadili ya biblia na maanisha kwamba huo sio uamsho So deliverance and experience of the Holy Spirit if it's real is still good. Aha, kule kufunguliwa na kuhisi roho mtakatifu ni kuzuri ni sehemu ya uamsho. 
But it doesn't mean revival has come yet. Lakini haimaanishi kwamba sasa uwangu sio ndipo umefikia kilele. I would describe a church with revival would be like this. Kanisa ambayo inayo uwangu sio inakaa namna hivi. The people all love the Lord. Watu wote wanampenda Mungu. They love each other. Wanapendana wao kwa wao. They go out to bring people to Christ. Wanaenda nje kuhubiri injili kuleta watu katika Kristo. They revive the spiritual life of Christians. Wana wanaamsha maisha ya kiroho ya watu. They bless the neighborhood. Wanabariki hata majirani wao. They bless other churches. Wanabariki hata kanisa zingine. Revival has come to their church. Ufufuo umekuja kwa kanisa kama hii. The revival has degrees. You know, there's small revival lakini ufufuo uamsho huu una viwango kuna yale makanisa yana uamsho mdogo na mengine na uamsho mkubwa the big of revivals that affect the whole world yani uamsho mkubwa unaweza athiri dunia yote so we pray that I pray that revival will come to your churches ninaomba kwamba uamsho utakuja makanisani mwenu the main thing is God wants it to happen yani jambo la Jambo kuu ni kwamba Mungu anataka uamsho uje. If we everyone here is willing to submit to God totally, kama kila mmoja wetu atajiachilia mbele za Mungu wazi kabisa. And have a close relationship with him. Na akuwa na uhusiano wa karibu na Mungu. And do everything God has commanded us. Na afanye chote kile ambacho Mungu amemwamuru kufanya. Revival has come to you. Ufufu uamsho umekuja kwa mtu kama huyo. And then you can bring it to your church. Na wewe unaweza kuleta kwa uamsho kanisani kwako. Okay? But in a church of revival, there are always some people who are still very lazy. It's some, generally, it's some people who are revived. Aha, utapata kwa na makanisani ndiyo uamu shunasema umekuja lakini watu wengine bado ni wadhaifu, ni wavivu. 